Hi there, Aldwin Altine here and I am outside the Magic Millions right now. You can see behind me there's a whole lot of action going on here and I'm with some lovely ladies here making a stand for Black Swan Lake. In case you are not aware, the Gold Coast City Council and the Turf Club have taken public land, in fact a 2.75 hectare lake with 65 different species of animals and they've already filled in 80% of it with landfill with dirt to turn it into a car park and we believe that there are animals buried alive under that landfill in fact we've seen cracked turtle shells with birds pecking at it uh, there have been iguanas and lizards that have been run over by trucks it's absolutely disgusting and we're going to have a chat now to some people who have been very active in this campaign in helping the wildlife here including some endangered animals as well uh, helping to save it we really want black swan lake back the community wants it back okay here is firstly tam hogan i'm going to go come over to you hello tam tammy Nice to see you there, and we've got Sheila here as well. So, Tammy, can you let me know when you first found out about this and what was your reaction? I found out about it years ago. We've been trying to save it ever since. People before us have been trying to save it because they got their eye on that land, and they say it's for parking, but as you can see, the Turf Club says on their website they have adequate parking, and they certainly have. They've got so much parking. Just behind there, right next to their club, they have got a grass to overflow car park, the same shite size and shape as Black Swan Lake and they have all of this parking and they have all taxis, they have public transport and yet the Gold Coast City Council and the Turf Club are irresponsibly promoting driving to an event like this and what they want to do is take our lake. Now our lake is that street left, that street right, that street left. We have a 2.75 hectare lake that they want to take, the Turf Club and the Gold Coast City Council want to hand it to them for more parking, for another grass overflow parking just to use this day, one day, Magic Millions and the Melbourne they should be encouraged to be taking public transport to events like this but instead the Gold Coast City Council and this turf club are building more car parks to encourage more people to park here whereas if they had a shortage of parking they could promote park and ride they could promote the taxis the bus ranks share taxis they really should be getting here through public transport yeah absolutely and uh, now 65 different species of animals including some endangered ones can you share what, what, well, what are some of those well, it's, 7 EPPC listed marine species and 3 EPPC listed birds. There is the Latham snipe. The Latham snipe is protected by two, na inter two national and one international law. We are in the Latham snipe and the coincidence of today is the 12th of January and we cannot change this day. This is held right around Australia where we count the Latham snipes at the lake and so does all the, you know, and the Japanese and all the federal, everywhere is counted today. It's just a coincidence that this little club decides to have their big day today. So it makes it a little bit hard for us and, it, and they are flighty birds. So we obviously won't be getting any sort of readout as we're supposed to be getting, uh, any sort of official readout because they'll be flighted everywhere and hiding. And, um, but later on this afternoon when these people drive home after they've had their fun day and event, well hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter. We did come five o'clock this morning, seven o'clock this morning. We came as early as we could to count the Latham Snipes because it's a very important program and it's a federal a government incentive in conjunction with the Japanese government and it is held three times a year and today, January the 12th, is the day for the national count. Mm. So we've done that this morning, we'll do it again this afternoon, but we're saying we've got this lake and um, that's all we've got left. And yeah. Look at all the car park they took. Look yeah. at all these yeah, car parks. Yeah, it's crazy. There's so much There's car parking here. Car park right at the end there. That's for horse boats. There's a guy's car park that's 2.75 hectares as well, the same shape with one tree in it. All you can see is cars as far as the eye can see. I mean, there's just car parking everywhere. It's insane. And, and there's still plenty of spots left over at the grass car park that they've got here, that they've got here, and that they've got at the end on the left hand side of Black Swan Lake. They also use our public park for that as well to park their cars on this one day a year. They want it all. And yet they're still promoting to drive. We're going to be here this afternoon when these people are actually leaving. Hopefully they won't be drinking. I'm sure there won't be any drink drivers. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we don't want to encourage it either way because it's using up. You know, uh, they're trying to put this light rail tram in to save petrol, to save gas. But have a look at these cars. One person per car. Two people per car. This is what they're promoting. Most, there's not most, even carpooling promoted here. They're promoting more parking, more there's, parking. There's one guy here. in a car. One guy in a car. 
There's, 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 there's a carpool. There's a carpool. That's good. Oh, here's another one person in a car. One person in a car. Where is that one person in a car? One person. There are mainly one people. One one person. One people here. One man. One. The decision which was taken by council in November 2016 is now under investigation by the Crime and Corruption Commission of Queensland. Several of the councillors were members or honorary members of the Turf Club. Following that, uh, the, the deputy mayor of the Gold Coast, Donna Gates, uh, she was appointed to the board of the Turf Club and our mayor, Merton Tate, was previously a member of the Bird Board Club itself. So the investigation the investigation is taking place right now into how this decision came about and if the people involved um, declared their interest. Well, Mertes, the deputy deputy mayor Gates, also have an interest in resources, which was either not declared or was declared late. Um, so that's a very important point of mind. Really, the whole of the Crime and Corruption Commission might have stopped the Yeah. We made the decision to fill in the lake, uh, to allow Agnes Turk Club to take over that lake for our license for $1 per year. That decision is now under investigation. And so it's it should be. Wrong. Oh, so it should be. It's just absolutely stinks. If there's not foul play in this, I don't know what well, is. Well, the councils are meant to act in the best interest of the community. How can they say that filling in a 2.7 hectare freshwater water lake, which has 65 bird species, and documented. How can they say that's in the best interest of the community? We live in the hottest, driest continent on earth, and uh, this time of year, the bird, birds are nesting in the birds of the chicks. Right now, we have a swamp hen there, who's got five little chicks. They were not meant to do it at this time of year for that specific reason because the chicks are there, the parents are there, and well, hopefully. In the council to rescind the motion, uh, we gave them this uh, permit, take back the license, and restore the lake to uh, how it was before anything was done. It's possible, and it should be done. Yeah, good on you, Sheila. That's great. And for anyone watching this, now how can they help? I don't know where to turn to talk to some people. Um, I know there's a few Facebook groups set up. have been put forward which have not been taken up by the turtle. Just a few minutes drive from just a few minutes drive from here we've got Ashmore Tay, which has a huge car park. Across the road from that there's a primary school which also has a huge car park. It's not being used today. They could have used that for park and ride. They could be used any weekend for park and ride. All kinds of other options have just been given to them. So yeah. Yeah it's it's just insane and just yeah. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. thank you so much for your time. And thank you to everyone watching this right now as well. We've got a lot of people on the live. Hello, Graham, Susan. Thank you for sharing too, Susan. I saw you just shared this Facebook Live. Uh, George, thank you. Gopal Lakrishnan, I hope I said that right. Uh, Diana, Duncan, thank you so much for joining us here on this Facebook Live. It is absolutely shocking that the Gold Coast City Council has gifted public land to the Aquas Turf Club for a dollar a year lease and enabled a 2.75 hectare freshwater lake to be filled in with dirt to be turned into a car park. Can you believe it? There is so much car parking space here. It's absolutely insane. So animals we believe and we've seen have been killed underneath this landfill. It was done way too quick. We want an investigation into this because they're meant to actually allow the lake to evaporate. It's meant to be a slow landfill and basically in about two weeks they've basically filled in 80% of this 2.75 hectare lake just in the back of the turf park here. And today there's Magic Millions going on. There's a whole lot of people supporting horse racing. And while I understand there's probably people that do do the right thing in the racing industry, there's also about 13,000 racehorses that are killed every year because they are either injured on the track or they're not seen as profitable enough because they don't race fast enough. Uh, and I think that's absolutely disgusting. So while I think the ladies look lovely uh, and, you know, I think it's lovely to celebrate life, uh, I also do not support racing financially in any way. I do not bet on races myself. Uh, and this is a side issue to the Black Swan Lake issue, but basically the Aquas Turf Club is behind all this. It, we really want the lake back and we want a full investigation done into the killing of animals that has happened and the total disregard for this public area by the council and by the turf club. So just back to Tam again. Tam, we'll just come back to you. So, if people want to join now, you've got a you've got a um, uh, lawyer involved. You, you need some more funds for that. Is that correct? What's We've got that, a lawyer what's... and a barrister. It's being reviewed over these uh, the weekend, and we have paid the lawyer, and we are raising funds for the barrister now. He's given us two weeks to pay. So, please get on all the pages. You can see where it's shared, and it's shared on Black Swan Lake News and Community for us. It's a GoFundMe. So, um, get on there and share that if you can, even if it's five dollars. Yeah. You know, instead of having a coffee. sort of chance we got we, we do have to have a reasonable chance of success in court as we did in February we had a reasonable chance of success we built that up to a good chance of success and then they backed out they decided to cancel the development application which they would have been made to do by the court anyway I owe you but either way they made a new development application we are taking this development application to court this time um, and we will see let the judge decide oh, yeah. we could always say that we Are willing to negotiate because yeah. at the moment there's a way a lot of people could be happy but at the moment they filled in the lake 70 to 80 percent of the lake that's not enough to sustain that lake we've had an expert look at it and that is home to 65 species of birds which the lake cannot contain it at the moment so really we're willing to have a lot of that fill pull back out have like an island so that the birds can lay their eggs and they're not um they don't have the feral animals and the cats and dogs attacking the eggs we're prepared to have that we're prepared them for them to dig out a lot of that dirt but save a little piece out the front so there's more room for the stables to walk their cars past to walk their horses past when there's cars so we are willing to to negotiate at least mm. and i think that would be something that suits the general public it'd be something that suits the uh the, the, the owners uh, the stable owners it would be something that might suit the turf club as there is public land here there's a grass park over overflow car park we'd like to to say um that they should be keeping that and the council should be letting them have that for overflow parking it suits everybody except i don't think it suits the mayor of the gold coast so when he gets back home from his country i'll be letting him know that he's supposed to be representing us the people uh, under 100 uh, 150 i and i i of the local government act he should be that means he represents the people of this town over and above any small clubs that are for profit 
And I don't see that happening here because 42,000 people have signed that they don't want it filled. Mm. Residents and mm. uh, tourists, we're saying we don't want it filled and yet a small club is saying, well, we want it filled for parking. I don't think they need it for parking or over hosts or closing. So I think we should be able to be to mediate if they want to mediate. I think everybody should be happy on going to the schools. Environmental, everybody else just met on faith. But again, that's what he's touching on with the him, that um, this is what the people want. And if he wants a Tate Haven, there's plenty of places out back there that he can build his um, device style turf club with night racing and his casino. And he can get his little light rail tram, whatever his plans he's got for himself. He can send it out to Tate Heaven out the back there. <laughs> Tourists can come here and enjoy the beach laid back lifestyle and then get on their little Tate train, head out to Tate Haven. <laughs> and that will please everybody. So basically, just the mayor who's not happy at the moment, in my opinion. Yeah, and well, a few councillors. Well, it's interesting that he deleted his Facebook profiles because I, I was. I don't know if he deleted it or he got him um, removed because the state government is actually admitting them now, he's new one. Right. And I don't think they're going to tolerate some of the things he's been saying on there. Right. So, you know, right. Site up, I think, two weeks as an official site. Um, there were so many complaints. But I think it was somebody took it down, whether it was or the state government. Yes, yes. And a lot of, no, a lot of negative, negative comments, a lot of negative tags about the mayor. A lot of people think so there's. I just want to say, if you feel like we do and you want to save this lake, if you don't think it's necessary that they need more parking, if you think that you shouldn't be encouraging drink driving, if you want to save our public owned land that we own, 2.75 hectares of lake, for us to go there and to photograph to walk for our elderly to be at peace, uh, for the animals to live in peace. If you want to save that lake, get onto our website. It's um, uh, BSL, B for Black, S for Swan, L for Lake, bslcommunity.org. Have a look on there, sign our petition, um, see what you can do to help save our lake before it's too late. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tam and Sheila. There we are. That's pretty much in a nutshell what's been going on here and I'm as disgusted as you no doubt are watching this right now. I couldn't believe it when I first heard about Black Swan Lake and what the Gold Coast City Council have allowed to happen, what the Mayor of the Gold Coast has allowed to happen to this beautiful lake here, 2.75 hectare lake with 65 different species of animals and they've just come in and they've brought a whole lot of bulldozers, a whole lot of dirt fill and they've just filled 80% of the lake in for a car park. It's just absolutely insane. And then the public land has been gifted by the council to the turf club for a dollar a year. What the hell? Now, if there's not foul play involved in this in some way, if people aren't getting underhanded, money under the table, well, I will be very surprised. Very, very surprised. It stinks. It reeks of dirtiness. And I don't know why the national media are not all over this and international media are not all over this story. And uh, I will certainly be sharing this Facebook Live with lots of people out there because the more we can get the message out there, the better and the more the ripple effect of change can happen for the community and you know it makes me almost ashamed to say I'm from the Gold Coast to, to hear of things like this happening however there are amazing people like Sheila and Tam doing a brilliant job and lots of others out there have been campaigning for Black Swan Lake so thank you for doing your bit if you're watching this right now thank you to the new people that have joined us Steve, Stephen, Steve Penny, Stephen Rodden, Cole Smith, Megan Knight thank you so much for joining us for everyone that's been watching this live there's a reason you're on here and if you feel as strongly as we do about the situation then please support you can either donate to the legal campaign sign the petition on change.org come down and see just come down Ascot Court and go to the end of it and you'll get to the lake or what's left of the lake and you'll see this and they've also fenced the whole area off so the remaining tiny bit of lake that's there there's a few little birds that are stressed out right up against the fence um, the, the, it's just disgusting what they've done and you know really we believe animals have been buried alive under this landfill last time I went down there I saw about 30 of these swans in the saltwater lake they, they jumped over the saltwater lake which is not a good place for swans they're likely to get eaten by sharks they're, they're, there's, it's not a good habitat for them they really need the freshwater lake and for the council to just come along and destroy something like this which has got about a sixth of the, the so same swans as Kakadu. This could be a great tourist attraction for the Gold Coast. We don't need more car parks and we need to keep fighting this. It's just absolutely disgusting. So look at look it up, Black Swan Lake, uh, bslcommunity.org. 
uh, look up Black Swan Lake on Facebook, you'll see all the different groups. Join up, share this Facebook Live, you're watching it right now, and, um, and, and help raise awareness about what's happening with Black Swan Lake. It really is very sad to see, and apathy is not going to change anything. If everyone just does something, we can all make a big difference. So, you know, it might seem like a big issue, but you can make a difference by just sharing this or by commenting or getting active in some way, signing the online petition. It takes about a minute. Okay, we're all busy, but you can take a little bit of time out to be a voice for those that can't be a voice for themselves. And today, I must say, I'm a bit sad here today at the, at the um, Magic Millions. I'm, I'm sad because I wonder by the end of today are more horses going to be put down are more horses going to be killed by racing today um, I just it just makes me sad I just um, yes I feel for the horses and I feel for all the animals here around this precinct um, and those that have been left homeless now thanks to council and the turf club so I will not support financially racing I will not support it and if more people stopped betting on races then maybe we could see an end to what I think is a very cruel industry very cruel industry for the horses and yes I know there's people that do look after their horse as well however with 13,000 dying every year because they're not racing fast enough or because they get injured on a racetrack 13,000, that is way too many horses put down and a lot of them are sent to the meat industry. Uh, it's absolutely disgusting. So I'm saying my bit and I encourage you to do the same. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching and uh, please share this if you feel at all compelled to do so and take some action, even some small action for animals will make all the difference. I'm Aldwin Altenay, thanks again. And uh, let's all make a difference for animals by taking some action. Okay, thanks again and bye for now.